Right, so we can we can continue forward and we can meet Strava, I think his name is. Strava of Boletaria, he's the son of the King Alant guy. Spoiler alert. <laughs> oh, hang on a second. Turn me around. So there's no jump on this game. But what there is, is this, like, mantle thing where when you run into something for long enough, the character decides to do that. Which is really dumb. Really dumb. I don't like it. There's the thief ring. This ring is gold. This is one of the best rings in the game. We're going to use it. And uh, Strava... That was a bold oh. jump. A surprise indeed. Well, now that you are here, pray thee, fend off these dreglings. So these are dredglings, these guys down here. And you can go down and fight them, which can be a pain in the ass. Or you can shove this guy down. Which is always funny. What on earth are you doing? And he'll fight him. And it's good to do this because you can get mauled by people in this area. It's really easy to do. You know, you drop down, you're all ambitious, and then you get bummed a bit. So I do that to stay safe more than anything. Because look, they all want me now. They don't want him, they want me. Uh, be careful though, guys. You can't hit him. If you hit him, he'll get... I don't think this guy ever gets fully pissed off at you, but some of them will. And the cool thing about Strava is he never, ever gets pissed off at you. So you can kill him. He doesn't care. My brave rescue. I am a Strava of Boletaria. And you're going to meet him in every mission, essentially, in this place. Because he's a dumbass and he's rubbish. And then at the end, uh, you, you get to fight him, which is quite cool. He's a... It's not very hard, though, because he, he's in a place where you just knock him off. Ow. That were annoying. Forget how shit some of these weapons are. And before anybody says you're using the Hornets, what are you doing? this is Demon Souls, guys. That is the backstab animation. Ooh, Scimitar. Is it better than my Falcon? No, it's not. Does it have better scaling? No, it doesn't. It, hang on a second. Yeah, it's worse in every way. Oh, wow, this guy's having a crap. Oh, this guy's got a great sword. Do you see it? He's really dangerous. He's got no shield, though, so he's, he's stun, stun lockable. And stun locking on this game is so powerful. It's, it's daft. It, you know, it's one of the things why I don't really care too much for the PvP in this game, although I've never managed to, to get a fight. It's just because the main tenant of Demon Souls is the thing I dislike doing the most in Dark Souls. Which, i got nothing against people who do it, it's part of the game, it's just I don't find it fun, and yeah, it's that simple really. Bitch. Oh, I rolled the wrong way. Did not press that direction. You're in the way, dickhead, that's what I'm doing. Look at him. Even when he's dying, I can't get past him. Just like them damn painted guardians on the rafters. I hate it. <clears throat> Absolutely hate that. It's so gay. So silly. So very quine. Right. It's a lukey. So anybody wondering, I did miss the merchant. Don't think the merchants on this game have any purpose at all, really. Like, armor doesn't matter on this game. Weapons barely matter. All the good ones you get from, you know, Demon Souls. And you can only make those when you kill the, the Flame Lurker, who is one of my least favourite bosses on the game. Which, if anybody who's never fought the Flame Lurker will probably wonder why. Anybody who has fought him will understand why. Oh, frame rate. Hello. Good night, sweet sir. Why I took my shield off then? Takes two hits. What a bitch! There's another blue eyes coming up, I believe. Oh. 
You lose some considerable distance with that. It's a weird move. Like, he does his fancy spin, and then all your inertia is just gone, so it doesn't have as much range as you'd think it would have. What are we doing? Mm. Oh, here he comes. Oh, that was a bad one. That was a bad one. Do you see how he, he deliberately swung really slow? So, uh, my parry was just doomed at that point. But, only gay thing about this guy is he's backed up with that other dude, but he'll die soon enough. Because he tries to heal, and I'm not going to let him. He's going to fall off and not die. Oh, he died. Actually, there might be something the the black the the dude who you can sh buy stuff from. One thing that will be super useful if he sells is turpentine, because if you can put flame on your sword, you're going to have a, a considerably easier time with the boss. So it's funny when you come back through here on New Game Pluses. Those bar those balls do not kill those guys. It's great. It's exactly what I want. You know, a trap that doesn't kill every playthrough. Oh no. Hate these cheeky stun locking twats. Look at him throwing fire bombs as well. So douchey. And this is when things get stupid. So there are dragons on this level. And the dragons on this game are just assholes. And they've got some really good stuff too. And they guard it really well. And there's two of them. There's a red one. And there's a blue one. And these... Oh, these enemies. Two of the biggest douches in the game sat up there right now. And you can spam roll and get past them. But it's not easy to do. <clears throat> it's far from easy to do. I think that's a, the equivalent of a Homeward Bone, a Shard of Archstone. But up there is a ring of, I think it's either Herculean strength or something else. One of them allows you to carry more, the other one allows you to have more items. Or a more equipped burden, sorry. The other one is a shield that's really good against the Flame Lurker, and there's probably just souls and shit, but I'm not going to mess up all this progress just for the sake of that. Because we're already facing a really dangerous point, which is this bit here. So, that dragon's going to come and ambush us, the red one we just saw. And he's an asshole. And this is the typical Dark Souls moment where how the hell are you supposed to know that it's going to happen? You can't, is the answer. And here he comes. Is it breathing fire? No. So, he's a temperamental bugger as well. Sometimes he breathes fire, sometimes he doesn't. Because if you can get him to breathe fire, he will kill everyone on this bridge. And that's what we're going for. That's what we're aiming for. Here he comes. You see him? We want him to blow fire. And to blow fire, he has to attack me. I believe, anyway. I have to be part of the prize. That's what it seems like, anyway. I'm going to put my different grass on as well. Come on, dude. Is he gonna? Is he gonna? Is he gonna? Is he gonna? Yes, he is. Please don't die. Right, just as he shot. Then he buggers off. And I think if you time it. Hang on, hang on, hang on! Oh no. Oh no. Maybe we can go Nicky's stuff. <laughs> He's all busy over there being a douchebag. Can we nick his stuff? I'll have me some of this. I can hear him. I'll have it. I'm having it. I'm off. Oh. He sounds so close right now. Oh! <laughs> Don't die! Don't die! Oh my gosh. We got the one we wanted though. That shield is really useful. So now he's sat down. It's going to take him a while to, to come to the bridge. And we should be able to just run. 
and get to the end without any problems. Because if you do it right, you get under him before he starts being a wanker. So let's have a look. He's now killed everybody except for these. Uh, these guys can cock block you on this bit. It's really bad. I'm not a fan at all of the cock blockiness of this game. These guys will not. They don't move. And you're safe. As soon as you get here, you're safe. So you want to come in this. And you want to press this. Because if you do die, this opens the door to the boss. And you will be literally back where the boss is if you die. So there is that. There is the dragon. Bushka. Unknown soldier's soul. Be careful down here too. Down here is, is cheap because there's people on both sides here. I hate it when games do that. Oh, I did not mean to do that. I hold the analog towards the enemy I want to attack. It's a habit I've got from games, and on this game sometimes... That was Turpentine, I believe. Uh, this game sometimes it does the forward and Y command, which is forward and Y, forward and, and right bumper. Or R1, because this is, this is PlayStation. Is it another cheesy? Yeah, another cheesy one. Fuck you in your fireball, son. Fireball that. Here we go. Look at him. Who, who throws a fireball at somebody from that distance? I was PvPing yesterday on Dark Souls. Guy started throwing fireballs at me. And it just makes me wonder, what is he trying to achieve? It was hilarious, so I, I hope that was his, his, his game. Just, oh, here we go. So, uh, anybody who remembers the Painted World will, will recognize this-ish. This is the, the Demon Souls equivalent of, of that. Uh, it's... I don't know what they call this thing, but it's part of the phalanx, which is the same thing that guards the statue in the Painted World. I say guards the statue, there's no real use of the statue, but it's there. And the boss of this level is going to be a bunch of these guys all over this core thing. And firebombs are going to make it your bitch. Resin's going to make it your bitch. It all kind of helps. Oh, nearly fell. Falling will kill you. Yeah, the, the fall damage on this game is weird, but you will still die from this kind of drop. Guaranteed. That's not good. That is. Uh, this enemy too, if you ever want to farm the Shard of Hardstones, I think they're the best enemy to do it off. Don't quote me on that though, my knowledge is not too great of this game. I just love it how this game has the ability to do... Oh shit, look how many there is. I should probably... Uh, not aggro any of them. Do my equipment and then just challenge the boss. So what you want in your items is you you want your most you want a decent bit of grass. I'm gonna use the the half moon, and then you want to put in your fire bombs, and you want to put in your, your your resin for when your fire bombs are, are done. If you've got any resin, see I picked up some turpentine, and if you're good at this game and you've played it a lot, you'll be able to throw these bombs freehand and hit this boss from the door, because that's what all the speedrunners do. But I'm not that good at this game, so I'm going to just run close. And the boss music in this game, I think, is horrific. Uh, I just don't like it. Never have. Really haven't. Just not that one. Lock on, screwing me. Love it. Right, let's just do some freehand throws. There we go. You're going to take some damage. It's just how it works. And... If anybody tells you that these enemies never stop coming, that's a lie. You can kill enough of them to stop them from coming. Yeah. 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 That's what we want. Actually hitting the boss now. Right, so now that we've run out of that, I'm going to go over here and I'm going to heal. And then I'm going to tuck this on and we're going to go to town on the, the core thing. Because we've opened up a spot right here. And I'm just going to stand and mash. 
No skill here, folks. It's just mash. And there you go. The first level is, is done. And make sure you pick up all the stuff. Shard of Hardstone. Oh, frame rate. Jesus. Could have told me before you just pulled it out in my face. Ah, I got a trophy. I just wish I cared about trophies. <laughs> And uh, we return to the Nexus.